Welcome back, Lotus lovers. I'm here with my friend Gwen here, and she's going to do her very first oil change on the Elise. So let's get started. Yeah. Ready? Yeah, as I'll ever be. <laughs> so let's get this thing up on ramps first. A little bit more. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stop. Perfect. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. It is really just one entire pan. What we got to take off is this yeah. one right here. Yeah. That's really the only one that needs to come off. And you see these little bolts right here? Yeah. I think these are eight millimeters. Yeah, there's two 13 millimeters up there too. Yeah. They've got to be taken off. But usually take the eight millimeter ones off first and then take off the yeah. 13s. I had no idea that it was this in case. There it goes. Yeah, I don't know if it's maybe just a mail thing, but I really like the power tools, you know. <laughs> maybe it is, I don't know. Okay, now can I 13? Yeah. yeah we'll don't let the tray hit you in the face. Yeah, I got it with the other hand. <laughs> and once you get that last bolt done down there, um, the tray will come down, but also it comes back just slightly. Okay. And then it comes off. Is your camera safe over there? Yeah, if you hit it, it's no big deal. Yeah, I hit it. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that's what that was gonna hit. That's fine. Like that's your your drain plug right, right. there, and then you know, your filter is just a little bit past that right there. It's yeah. actually really nice and easy to get to. All right, so 14 millimeter for the drain plug. Man, I'm kind of worried about this. Seems stuck, huh? Yeah. Oh. I mean, you are you are going counterclockwise, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, just making sure. No. What in the world? Uh-uh. Tell me I'm not crazy. That seems bad. Why the heck is that so tight? Mm. I got it. I'm trying to do this from the don't be in the path kind of thing. Right. While guessing the path. Oh. I got it. Yeah, what? but forgot. No. Oh. I didn't know about that. Sorry. <laughs> I was trying to find the bolt. That was my fault. I uh, forgot to open the actual plug of it. <laughs> I've done that before. <laughs> Where I started like dumping oil into the, the pan and like the, the drain plug in the pan is like still closed. Um. Is it slipping on the? It is. Oh no. <sighs> Who the fuck tightened this thing? And I'm, I'm just, I'm kind of, I'm squishing the filter trying to get it to go. Really? Yeah. Can you give it a whirl? Yeah. Oh, wow. Geez. Yeah, it's like all squished up. Yeah. What in the world? All right. Well, this is a new one for me. This filter is just squishing. It's being crushed by the oil filter wrench instead of coming off. I've never seen a filter this stuck before. That is strange. Well, I guess the plan of action is to maybe hammer a screwdriver through it <laughs> and see if we can like twist it off like that. I'm going to try and get it up at near the top like where it hasn't already squished awkward getting in here yeah. got it started going in yeah i just want to make sure i drive it to the other side got the screwdriver in there see if we can actually turn it and get it off ah. oh broke the screwdriver what in the world <laughs> broke the dang screwdriver that is hilarious. All right, let me get something stronger. All right, take two on this. This is fucking crazy. It's just like ripping the... I have never seen an oil filter stuck on like this before. Maybe, maybe I can get a chisel right, yeah. right up on like the edge of it to try to knock it loose. Like down here, it's just like sheet metal, right? Yeah. But like up at the top of the filter, it's actually solid. Mm -hmm. So maybe if I can like drive it in there and then hammer yeah. in the direction that it unscrews. I still think it's hilarious that I'm older now than Danny Glover was whenever he said I'm getting too old for this shit. Maybe if I can get like the whole body of the filter off. What a conundrum. This part up here that's like right next to the housing. Yep. That's really like the only like thick part of the filter. Right. So like if I can get the chisel to like bite into that 
like maybe I can get it to turn but so far it's just ripping the side of the can Many hours later. Ding, ding, so ding, ding, ding. No. we finally did get this <laughs> mangled oil filter off, but Gwen did it and she's going to tell us how she did it. Um, I, I put um, the new needle nose we got that we were purposely bought to break. I put that in there mm -hmm. and then got the screwdriver and put it here and just kept cranking. Wow. And then once it started moving, I just kept and just walked it until yeah. finally it broke loose. Jeez, like we've been struggling with that for hours. 100%. This is up. This is him. I like I, I would. This is he cranked on the peanut jar for an hour and warmed it up and did everything. And then we just let it. And we both calmed down and stopped cursing. Yeah. And I took a break and went back under there. And well, you did it. You did wee, it. So wee, 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 wee. you got that. So that's good. That's on you. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. No, I'm All right. Well, let's get the new one on. Yeah. I can. You know, yeah. <laughs> And so that we don't do the same thing, this just goes on hand tight. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the rest of the aftermath of the filter. Completely gnarly. And we just crank this down hand tight. That's all she needs. We have the oil pan plug tightened back up. And the uh, important step of adding the oil, Josh reminded us of. <laughs> so Josh, are you a pre-oil filter fill or no? Depends on the vehicle. Yeah. yeah well, I mean, obviously, if you put the oil filter on upside down, you can't pre-fill. But... Yes, but that's yeah. a, that's a. Um, <laughs> it depends on how sensitive they are. Like for uh, BMW motorcycles, oh yes, absolutely, fill it. Right. Yeah. Fill it, seat it, and then fill the mark. Yeah. Well, I put half a quart of oil in the oil filter already, so I prefer to pre-fill the oil filters. I mean, just the, um, I forget the guy's name, but he did um, a video, like they actually like tested it, like tested the oil pressure mm -hmm. and like showed that, you know, whenever it's not pre-filled, yeah. they, the engine doesn't build oil pressure just like, you know, half a second, like slower than, you know, Absolutely. if you don't, so. Good. Trying. That lit, yeah, that lip at the front edge of the uh, skid plate. Yeah, I'm, I'm wiggling. Wait, what's that? <laughs> I don't think this is what boobs were made for, but they work. Heck yeah. Yeah, no, boobs make a, a great a skid plate lip. All right, can you give me one of the 13? Uh-huh. There you go. That is one of the things that's kind of tricky about, about the Elise like, belly pan. Not the bolts that she's putting in now, not the 13 millimeter bolts, but the little eight millimeter bolts that go around uh, the side. They're all like put on with the, the little body clips. The, yeah. the little like squeezy nut mm -hmm. things. Sure. I don't know if you actually clip call notes. them, but yeah, clip nuts. Okay. Found out quickly by putting the 13s in, uh, the, uh, the little ones aren't quite. Oh, lined up? Oh, so you gotta like keep the 13 bolts like loose. Yeah. While you like line up the little ones. Okay, well yeah. that's a that's a good tech tip. Make sure the the main bolts are loose, so you can line up the small ones. These are the the boob ones. So we actually discovered the ones on the upper part, the outside here, are easier to get from the outside of the car instead of underneath. So all right, so. First oil change done. What do you think? It better be easier from my hair on out. It better be. <laughs> I will never want to do an oil change again. I've done way too many of them, but this is the worst one in the history of ever. I have never seen that before. That really is a really weird scenario. Yeah. I don't think like that never happens. Good job. You did yeah. it. <laughs> well, even the difficult ones can turn into a good experience. Hope you guys got something out of this. Subscribe if you're not already and give us a like too. We really appreciate it. And bye. Thanks for watching.